let us continue with the frequency response of uh, C amplifier. So this is the frequency response of the C amplifier what we are expecting. At initial frequencies the gain is less and again at very high frequencies gain is uh, reducing. Only in the mid band the gain remains constant. So we can estimate the cutoff frequency F1 and F2 by taking a magnitude which is 3 dB down the maximum value. So we shall run this circuit. It is for the same circuit what we have rigged up last time. So let us find out okay, what is the frequency response. So here in this case we are using this uh, uh, network 1. So you can see the start frequency is 20 Hz. The stop frequency is 10 MHz. The number of samples per decade is 200. The input amplitude applied is uh, 0 0.01 volt that is 100 millivolts. They can see initially the magnet output magnitude is less, so that's why gain is less. So now you can see it is uh, fairly becoming constant. This is a mid band uh, uh, gain, so where it is almost constant. So now we can see uh, this is almost constant, and uh, as the frequency further increases, so because of uh, the property of the amplifier, the gain again started reducing. You can see the gain is started reducing. So we should stop over here and then try to find out uh, the frequencies. So what we are looking at here. So what is the maximum gain? So what is the frequency corresponding to uh, this? And what is this frequency? For that we shall add the cursor. Let me add a cursor here. So let me place this cursor on the top. So uh, on the maximum gain side. Now the maximum gain of uh, this amplifier in this particular case is 26 point 25.63 dBs. So let me have uh, two more cursors which are a delta in nature. So there is one cursor. Let me place this second cursor such that uh, its gain difference is 3 dB from the maximum. So just, just have a look at uh, this delta y. This, this delta y should become uh, 3 dBs. So I'm just moving. You can see now the delta y is 0.8. Now it is 1.4. Now we just move so that that becomes 3. So just have a look on this. So that should become minus 3 dB. So that uh, we are 3 dB down the maximum, which corresponds to the corresponding frequency is 1.36 megahertz. So which is the F2, which is mentioned in this graph. So let us also measure uh, this F1 on this graph by having one more delta cursor. So let me move this cursor. 3 delta such that uh, this becomes uh, minus 3 dB. So on, on the other side of, I can see it is, uh, there is a variation there. So let me approximately find out where the gain is uh, minus 3 dB. Somewhere, somewhere here it is now minus because the variation is there. So now you are getting somewhere here it is minus 3 dB. So let me just uh, find out. So here it is minus approximately minus 3 dB. The corresponding frequency is around uh, 486 Hz, which is 500 Hz. So F1 happens to be a very small frequency, which is 500 Hz in this case. The F2 happens to be 1.36 MHz. So likewise, so we can find the bandwidth of the uh, amplifier and we can know what is the gain. So gain happens to be 25.64 dB. We can actually find the uh, ratio of that and we can have the product of that which happens to be gain bandwidth product. Now I have modified the uh, value of RE such that the gain is slightly increased. So I have, I have changed the uh, pot position. Now the gain has become 26 sorry 28.52 dBs from the earlier 25.64 dBs. So let me again find out okay what is the uh, bandwidth of uh, this particular uh, gain setup. So let me just move this so that this becomes uh, 3 dB down. Okay, now this is uh, somewhere it is 3 dB. Now this is uh, 3 dB somewhere here. Now let me just come down here. This is now around 3 dB. Uh, now we can see uh, this is the gain of the amplifier. So this is the bandwidth. So likewise we can change the uh, gain and we can modify the or uh, we can check the what is the bandwidth. So let me just uh, uh, redo the experiment. So by uh, varying the value of uh, RE such that this gain reduces, I have uh, modified the position. Let me again run this. 
so let us see what is the gain now so earlier we had 25.64 db next we had uh, the gain as uh, 28.4 dbs now i have again modified the uh, re such that let us verify what is the gain now let us see now the gain has to reduce because i just rotated the pot in a other direction now the gain has to reduce so let me find out what is the gain of the system so now the gain happens to be so let it uh, simulate now it is somewhere around the so just have a look at uh, this cursor this is the it's around 23 dbs so earlier it was uh, first reading it was 25.64 dbs next it was 28 point something now it is 23 dbs now we are going for different uh, positions of the gain so depending on what is uh, the re of the amplifier that is re dash of the amplifier so by changing the re dash we can certainly change the amplification gain Yeah. 